Hello, everybody. Chromewood here again. Thanks, everybody, for uh, joining me for another video, another update on the Ezrune RPG. As you can see, a lot of stuff has happened, and we're at a totally different area right now. We are at Tutorial Island. Um, well, at least that's the term that I use right now. But uh, you can see a lot of different houses here. I've moved from the campsite in the middle of the island towards uh, this area here with a nice beach. And um, you can see a lot of other stuff happening right now. We have a level up system where you're now level one. Um, we can see our current health and max health, which are now instead of hard coded, they're um, based on the attribute values from the player. And uh, let's talk to Wardley. We talk to Wardley. We can see we still have the action bar with the quest. Um, now we've got a lot of more text here. So uh, let's just uh, talk to Wardley here. So let's make a deal. Let's uh, get some feathers. And I, at the same time, I can show you um, uh, the leveling system. So uh, let's go. So, also for different locations, I can create visual banners uh, that I can showcase um, wherever the player goes. You can see I now have a, uh, a special uh, loot for all the mobs and a custom amount of experience gained. So for all these simple friendly chickens, we get like one experience every time we hit them. And basically I can set the amount of experience per mob or per entity, so that's pretty awesome. We currently only have uh, two feathers, so uh, let's get some more here. I got a small health potion, which is nice. Let's kill another one, so we get some a few extra. Because there's something else I want to show you. So uh, let's drink that potion. Now we got uh, ten feathers from the six that we needed. Oh, by the way, let's uh, let's level up because we're at 19 from the 20. So I can show you in uh, third person here what happens. So that's a visual effect that happens uh, every time a player levels up and everybody who's around you can also see the same effect. So every time you level up, people can see that you you've leveled up. And as you can see, the max XP has uh, changed. I just became a little bit more. All right. So we got rid of some feathers. Uh, and we've also acquired uh, some text here, some items, and we've just leveled up again. And we're almost at level four now, even by doing just a few quests. Let's level up once again. Just to see the effect one more time. There we go. Awesome. Something else I want to show you is some items are pretty useless. And so instead of gathering these in your inventory, you can go to a merchant. Hmm. And he asks you, how can I help? Well, we want some money, right? So let's sell our useless items. And it goes through your whole inventory selling all the useless items that you have. Uh, we only had a few feathers, so that's all right. Hmm. If we talk to them again, you can see that they've been selling for the one silver that they were uh, showing up as. Uh, but we can also sell selected items, like this one. Let's hmm. talk to the merchant again and sell the selected item. How much is it worth? Uh, 10 silver. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Let's talk to them again. As you can see, you've just gained 10 silver. Got some other stuff here as well. Let's uh, put that armor on. And let's fight some crabs. These are basically remodeled silverfish. But um, I've been using an Optifine feature for this. Uh, not just by renaming, because that only changes the texture. Um, but I found a workaround to have like multiple models entity which normally you cannot do you can only have like one model but you know different randomized textures 
um, which is basically done by using different uh, models and putting them in the same model. Sounds a bit complex, but it's really not. So these crystal dusts are also pretty useless, as you can see. So we can sell them for one silver each. Hmm. Hmm. And there we go. We just made some more money. Awesome. I've also been spreading some NPCs around the the island here. So we can, for example, go this way. And talk to an NPC is, who's at the a different part of the island. So let's go find him and talk to him. This is something I want to do in the whole of Azarun, basically. To spread out different NPC villa, uh, villagers and, you know, you being able to talk to them. They have different stories and stuff. He says, for example, my grandfather used to say that the mainland of Azarun is said to have hidden relics from ancient builder race. Do you believe those stories? Good question. I've only been to the mainland a couple of times, but it's too big. I like it here better. Yeah, for sure. Now then, um, I've also got some other stuff going on, obviously. Uh, there's some showcase things that I've been showing in my Discord some smaller uh, preview uh, videos and something like this that I can show. Um, so player and mount summon. So for example, we've got mounts here. So instead of a horse, we've got a tiger right now. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Which is awesome. Let's see if we can... Uh, Tame this guy. So, uh, give... Give 64 apples. <laughs> and we can ride around this guy. Let's put a saddle on him. Come on, show your face here. Now we're on a tiger. As you can see. Which is pretty awesome. So we just walk around the the island here with a tiger, which is cool. I still got all the other stuff uh, going on, so things like um, the skill trainer. It unlocks the skill tree for your different weapon categories and stuff. Although these are not functional quite yet, because we're working on a custom health and damage system. This is all work in progress, as you can see. Yeah. A lot of stuff has been updated here, which is really, really cool, really awesome. But it's mostly like the very small things, as you can see, like the leveling system, the health, and uh, stuff like this. Hello, Barry. Our new home is almost done, and the ocean view is amazing. Who wouldn't want to live here? That's a good question. Anyways, that's all I've got for now. Thanks guys for watching. I'll, uh, I'll be back with more information about the project later on. So, see you guys later.